Oh wow, look at this hair. I've gone orange. Well, it's probably more ginger than anything, but anyway. Oh, oh I've got to turn this up. Hang on. Oops, I turned it down. It was obviously turned up. Okay. Oh. Let me top. Hang on, I'll see if I can get it. It's all about me. <laughs> I love it. I love Elmo. I love Winnie the Pooh. Anyway, guys. Shauna Sparkles here. Um, I did have stuff on my mind that I wanted to talk about. <coughs> but I think the first thing that I want to... Um, because I've been thinking about it for a few days and something I felt I needed to do. Um, my dad, Doug Sweener. Now, a lot of you know that my father, my actual father, um, he passed away and... I see a lot of Doug Sweeney um, in him and it just reminds me a lot of my dad. His wit, his sense of humour, his kindness towards other people. So what I want to talk about is the fact that Dad Sweeney took the time and showed me love and um, helped me through a hard time when I thought, well not so much when I thought, but when I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer then it turned out to be not thyroid cancer. So while I'm happy that I don't have it, it made me feel like I was a liar. But people like Dad Sweeney and Mama and other people, um, on YouTube that I've got to know and love just as equally. Um, Johnny Five and uh, Kate and Sunshine Cooper um, have all said, look, you know, you was only going by what you was told. You can't put, beat yourself up over um, something that was out of your hands so um, I did struggle with that you know and this played on my mind it played on my bipolar it played on my emotions it played on everything it really mm, yeah made me angry because a doctor that I thought I could trust, you know, she broke that trust. And I could have gone through chemotherapy um, and all that unnecessarily. And radiation treatment which would have made me really sick because of the fact that um, I was misdiagnosed. I do have, like I said, I do have a lump in around here somewhere and like I can lay in bed and I can literally 
grab it there that's where I can grab it and to me that feels like a lump um, I did ask the oncologist the bloke that I saw because I was referred to him and once he'd done the tests and everything he said no he said that's not cancer he said I'm betting it's fatty tissue or a cyst so I haven't really been worried about it but um, I will get it checked again not by the doctor that I went and saw um, but I'm going to go to another doctor this hair of mine is shocking it's really red <laughs> I think I might dye it black um, yeah so big shout out to Doug Sweeney and I'm going to put his link down below so check him out show him love and support guys because he is a wonderful 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 man and um, loving caring man and that's what drew me to him to class him as my father because well he's just that sort of a person he cares about people and uh, and my father was very much the same he cared about people although my dad my real dad never uh, oh, I don't know what the word is. He never really expressed it the way that Doug Sweeney does. Um, but he showed it in other ways, you know. He showed it with the things that he would do for a person rather than use words. Dad Sweeney uses words and um, shows it. So, um, yeah, so a big shout out to my dad, Doug Sweeney. And I do hope he doesn't mind me saying that because, well, I'm coming from the bottom of my heart when I say, you know, as far as I'm concerned, Doug Sweener is my dad. And I do love him dearly. And I love Mama too. She's a lovely, 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 lovely lady. And I love it lots and to bits. Love them both to bits. Um, so basically this is sort of just based on Dad Doug and mamas as well so um yeah I know I just felt <sighs> I feel better now that I've done this <laughs> whereas I was oh what am I going to say what am I going to say I don't know but yeah it was just a matter of thinking back on well things that happened in recent times and I guess it's a lesson guys it's a lesson if you suspect there's something wrong you've got to go to the doctor you've got to get it checked but more importantly make sure you trust your doctor make sure you're even if you've got to get that second opinion from another doctor don't be ashamed do it because that doctor may not be telling you the truth like I found out so yeah um, there's no shame in asking for help there's no shame in um, seeking a second opinion if the second doctor says rah 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 they may even want to do a, a check they may want to do tests 
Well, see, this is what this other doctor didn't do. She didn't. All she did was took, sent me for a blood test. And basically, my um, test for the thyroid had come back and they said it's underactive. So, underactive to her is apparently I've got cancer. But no, I don't. I just wanted to clarify that. But also, I wanted to, for a bipolar depression side of things, wanted to make sure and point out that it's those sorts of things and triggers that can really set people back because you don't think, well, you start thinking to yourself, I don't really want to go to the doctor because what if I get told this and it's wrong? That's why I say you, there's no shame in asking for second opinion, third, fourth, fifth if you have to. Get to a doctor that's going to listen and be supportive, understanding and um, treat you as a person, not as a... Uh, and brush you off, you know, like some doctors do. You don't need to put up with that crap. If they do, uh, my advice then would be seek medical, uh, your local medical board, and put in a complaint. The doctor I was seeing has been deregistered, sacked, and yeah. Um, I am looking at possibly, with <laughs> the way things go on here in Australia, I'll probably never see it, but yeah, I've been told that I may get a payout um, to cover. Um, upset um, and misleading information and stuff like that. I'm, I don't really care one way or the other. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, well, I don't, you know. But I can't be worrying about that because otherwise it will just set my bipolar off and I don't want that. Um, I'd rather be a happy-go-lucky um, person, put out great content, or try to put out great content. <laughs> um, I do like cooking. As that might come out in my videos when I've made or done a couple of cooking videos. Um, I've done a couple of shopping hauls. People seem to like those as well. Um, I've got myself a knitting loom and I've taught myself how to use it. So I might even do a, a few videos of me using my knitting loom. Um, it's just a handheld one. It's not like the one where you can just wind and wind and wind and knit something in 30 minutes. I mean, this is all like a round circle with pegs on it. And uh, yeah, anyway, enough about that. Um, that might be in the future. I've got to get myself a new um, tripod for my phone because the one that I've got, it's not, I don't know how you, or what they're called actually. It's the legs and that, they come apart, but they've got these little balls and they all join together and you can bend them this way and that way and all sorts of things but if you bend them too far obviously they break so yeah pretty crappy so I need to get myself a new one one day um, just at the moment I can't really afford to get what I really want so a decent um, tripod for phones and stuff but Oh well, some of the breaks. Um, 
um, I'm just rambling now. <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't want to make this all about me. It's sort of meant to be a happy video. And well, basically I'm letting people know I'm on top. And uh, in the words of Peter and Mary Fry, which are a couple that I also follow, um, Mary's got cystic fibrosis and she's got a saying, do what you think you can't do. So I pinched it. Um, I'm going to keep soldiering on, doing what I'm doing. And, oh, sorry guys, I've got an itchy nose. My mum always used to say it's a sign that you're going to kiss a fool. Uh, I don't know what fool I'm supposed to kiss, though. Hmm. Anyway. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. It's nearly 20 minutes that I've rambled on. Well, 16 minutes. More of 16 minutes, and I've done a heap of rambling. Um, don't forget, Saturday night, New Dizzy Show. And don't forget, Sunday night, Hazy Day Show. And I'll put those links in the description also. Alright guys, take care and peace out.